Ground Branch fills the void between unrealistic run-and-gun action shooters like Call of Duty and Medal of Honor and large-scale complex war simulations like the Armed Assault series. And here's how. My name is John Sonnedecker and I'm the founder of Blackfoot Studios. I'd like to introduce you to Ground Branch. I've been in the industry for over 15 years, was an integral part of the teams that brought you the original Rainbow Six, Rogue Spear, and Ghost Recon, the PC versions. Ground Branch is a tactical first-person shooter focused on not only on authenticity, but realism. Details matter. Things like full body awareness with realistic weapon view and handling, nonlinear level design, a health system that doesn't regenerate, and complete weapon and character customization are just a few. My producer, designer, Jonathan, and I would like to take you on a journey and show you what Ground Branch is all about. Ground Branch utilizes a unique true first person system with full body awareness. You are able to free look independent of weapon aiming. And your weapons have accurate collision within the world you are in. So shorter weapons would be a better choice in close quarter situations, as they would in real life. Special operators jump all the time, and so can you, but you won't be able to effectively employ your weapon while doing so. Our maps have a time of day setting, and in-game gear reflects that. This can be used for squads for various things like setting up link times. Weapons will have appropriate rate of fire selection ability. And of course, we've got cool explosions. And some neat particle effects. Now Jonathan is going to show some pre-alpha footage of our training space to give you a better idea of what we are aiming for with our shooting and moving mechanics and why these features matter. Here you can see one of our Halo insertions. This is one of the ways in which the attackers will spawn their adversarial game modes. The insertions themselves are randomized. We will discuss some of the randomization at another time. For now, I really want to focus on the shooting and movement mechanics. These are the two things that really set us apart from any other game in the genre. The player is holding his gun in a position that is referred to as low ready. Most other games support a generic weapon view where the weapon is on the right hand side of the screen and there is a crosshair painted in the center. That all too common example that we've all seen before is not only inaccurate, but it also fails to immerse the player. Here you are seeing the beginnings of our lean and peak system. This allows you to quickly and safely survey the situation and index targets while maintaining a low profile. Players are able to lean, peak, and step out from cover. Every player motion and animation was motion captured from a real world operator with over 20 years of military experience. What that means for you, the player, is that you're not going to see these weird walking, jogging, running, reloading animations that just look strange and remove you from the experience. Spatial awareness is a big part of our design. Projectiles also spawn from the end of the muzzle rather than the sight. Here you can see our transition to the sidearm. We're extremely proud of this one. In Ground Branch, when you reach for a secondary weapon, it's all one fluid motion. You drop your primary, grab your secondary, and you're immediately back in the game, just as you are in real life. In this part of the demo, we want to focus on some of our gun-mounted accessories and gear options that players can choose from. This is the flashlight, or the tack torch, depending on who you talk to. And this piece of gear obviously illuminates a room, but it can also be used to disorient and blind your opponents at a certain distance, especially if they're using night vision gear. Here you can see a work in progress of our night vision implementation. This is simply a proof of concept and is by no means final. We want to work a lot harder on this one. We just wanted to show that in Ground Branch, deploying specialized gear like this takes time. It's not something that you do in the middle of combat, and it's not instant. That said, they are functional. They will amplify ambient light in dark conditions, allowing you to see. But things like tunnel vision and washout from bright lights, these are real world limitations. These aren't things that we're just implementing as game designers. In nearly every other game, you have a pool of ammunition and an ammo counter, with the reload animation only serving as a means to an end. Well, as you can see, we have no ammo counter. So how do we solve this? Ammunition management is key, and you do that with magazines. 
In the rifle that we're showing, its magazine holds 30 rounds. If you fired off 15 rounds and then reloaded, it would be called a tactical reload. One round would stay in the chamber and the fresh magazine would hold 30, giving you a total of 31 bullets. That partial magazine goes to the end of your queue and the fresh magazines work their way up. When a magazine is empty, it is dropped to the ground and discarded, so you won't be wasting your time reloading an empty magazine. That's what we would refer to as a dry reload. It should go without saying at this point, but each weapon has unique and accurate reload animations. In this training area, you can see that the entire area is filled with smoke. Some of our maps will reflect things like this. Heavy smoke, monsoon, downpours, things that make it difficult for you to identify friend from foe. This kind of stress in the battlefield forces you to slow down, communicate, take time, and focus on what you're doing. In addition to environmental smoke from things like oil fires or forest fires, we will also support things like smoke grenades for concealment. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing the design aspects of our pre-alpha build. Things will only get better from here as we add more content. At the end of the day, we just really want to play this game. Some of our developers helped create this genre in the first place, and we need your help to carry it forward. It's time to stop supporting these broken designs from the big publishers. It's time to stop modding their broken games trying to fix them. Instead of trying to fix all of these broken designs, why don't we just support one that works? I hope you like what you have seen, but we still have a ways to go. We are aiming for a truly authentic and realistic experience where your choices as a player matter and have real in-game consequences. We're a small, self-funded team relying on our savings and outside contract work. And up until this point, we have put our heart and soul into this project, but cannot continue without proper financial backing. And that's where you, the Kickstarters, come in. We have big plans for supporting this game post-launch, with many free updates to early adopters. This is a game that we wanted to support for many years to come. There are plenty of first-person shooters out there, but none that have the gameplay that we are after. Please check out our Kickstarter page for more details, and thank you for your support.